Hello everyone, welcome to the Azure Fundamental Lab Sessions. I'm Song jin -an, and I'm a technical trainer at Microsoft. In this series of videos, our Microsoft technical trainers will help you on your learning journey into Azure by giving you guidance on how to complete the labs that you can find at Microsoft Learn. Let's begin with our Azure Fundamentals, also known as the AZ900 course. If we head over to the following link, aka.ms slash az900 slash sandbox, it will direct you to this collection of sandboxes, which you can activate for free to have hands-on experience with Azure. Now, these collections of sandboxes have been extracted from the AZ900 Learning Path module, which can be accessed by heading over to this link, aka.ms slash azfunpath. From here, if we scroll down for a bit, we can find modules that has not only the sandboxes, but also the contents that will deepen your understanding into the conceptual parts of Azure. So please feel free to check them out as well. As of now, we currently have eight sandboxes that are being provided for AZ900. Throughout this series of videos, we will go through each of them one by one to see how we can complete them. For this video, we are going to look at the first exercise, which will give you a sense of how to activate these sandboxes. This is a page you'll see once you click on the first exercise. Before we activate the sandbox, we need to make sure that we are logged into Microsoft Learn with our Microsoft account. Once we are logged in, press the Activate Sandbox button to activate it. After that, press the Review Permissions button to review the permissions that you need to grant to Microsoft Learn. It will direct you to another page explaining the permissions requested by Microsoft Learn Sandbox. Take a look at the permissions and press the Accept button to continue. Once the permission has been granted, the Sandbox environment will spin up. You will have up to one hour to go through the instructions that are being provided in the exercise. Once the Sandbox has been launched, you will be able to see the Azure Cloud Shell running on the right side of the screen. It is currently in PowerShell mode, so if we type in a PowerShell command such as get date, it will return the current date and time. We can also switch this into the bash mode to use bash commands to interact with Azure. Type in bash and then press enter. Now the letter PS has disappeared and it is now showing my username, indicating that it is in the bash mode. In this mode, the PowerShell command get date is not working anymore. Instead, bash commands like date will now return the current date and time. Now another way to interact with Azure CLI is by using the interactive mode. This mode provides the terminal with additional functionalities such as auto-completion dropdowns and command descriptions. Now, this is ideal for users who are just learning to use Azure CLI commands. Type in AZ Interactive to enable the interactive mode. Once you're in the interactive mode, you will be able to see the auto-completion dropdown boxes like this and also the description of the command that you have written, like this. Now, you can also navigate to the Azure portal and create resources using the concierge subscription provided under Microsoft Learn Sandbox directory. By clicking on the link provided in the instructions, it will direct you to the Azure portal with Microsoft Learn Sandbox as the current directory. This will be free to use to practice the given exercises on Microsoft Learn. So if we click on this link from the instructions, 
it will direct me to the Azure portal and we can see that Microsoft Learn Sandbox is selected as the current directory. From here, we can follow the instructions from Microsoft Learn to have hands-on experience with Azure portal. And now that brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we talked about how to activate the free sandboxes that are provided in Microsoft Learn to enhance your learning experience. In the next episode, we will go over how to create a resource in Azure using this sandbox environment. See you in the next video. Thank you.